My name is Susan Straka Luby. I live south of Stewart, Nebraska, on a ranch. And it is the pipeline is proposed to go within 200 yards of my house and our main bale yard and ranch buildings. Um, I have a son that's in the military. He's 22 years old. I have a daughter that's in nursing school and another daughter that's 16. My husband uh, drives a truck, so he's gone a lot of the time. Um, so he's, uh, he's not really supportive of this whole project because it takes my time and attention away from him. So, uh, as well as the ranch life. And uh, so I'm basically going to Lincoln. This will be my third trip to Lincoln to testify. Um, in 2008, they really made me angry by chasing some cattle through a fence with their helicopters. And they being Trans Canada? Yes. Okay. They were um, scouting the land or, or whatever they were doing with that route mm -hmm. purpose. Um, and then we started talking to the land agents who started lying right off the bat, which made me even more angry and determined to not do what they wanted me to do just because they said it was okay. Um, I the home quarter I have with my mom and dad and intend to inherit the ranch. Uh, I do have an older brother who has Down syndrome and two younger sisters that help me out quite a bit on the ranch too as well. Um, I've been to Atkinson State Department meeting to testify and also to Washington DC last October. Um, I've learned a lot, I've met a lot of people, and a lot of us in Nebraska are very stubborn, and but good-hearted people, and we don't want our ground ruined, and we have the best tasting water on earth. And that is one of the main reasons, other than it's my home, that I will not allow Canada to come in here and take it away from us. Susan, is there anything you would like to say to President Obama if you had a chance to sit down with him face to face? It is hard to describe to you what we're all going through, but it's our home and we will defend it no matter what. And we've been here for, I'll have my son be the fourth generation, and that means the world to us. And we don't just have an apartment to go home to, we have our land and our cattle and our horses, and we will take care of them no matter what. And this is our livelihood, and you can't not know what it's like to be put in this position with these kind of people. They're not friendly at all. And I just want you to deny the permit, not just based on me, but thousands of other people that are against it as well. And not just because I'm a tree hugger, but because it's the right thing to do. Thanks, Susan, for sharing your, your, your heartfelt words. <clears throat> You're welcome.